Well, good evening, everyone. It's Zach Grantham, the uh, morning show host on 93.1 KD Country. This is Mr. Rhett. Rhett, say hi. Hi. <laughs> He's a little worn out. Uh, uh, we had a, a fun-filled day, a social distance day. Uh, we basically, uh, we've all got our baths and showers now, so uh, this is uh, our bedtime story, especially for Daddy, because uh, he has to go to bed early. Uh, but I saw some other folks around the country that are doing this just because there's a lot of schools that are out right now. So a lot of kids are just looking for stuff to do. And of course, the school districts here in Texoma are doing an incredible job uh, with uh, communicating to each and every one of the uh, kiddos and the parents. I know our uh, kiddos, uh, uh, their teachers are doing an incredible job and that school district is doing great as well. Uh, but what I wanted to do is uh, I wanted to give uh, an opportunity to read a book uh, to you and your kiddos, okay? So obviously this is mainly for, uh, this is mainly for your kids, but parents, if you'd like to enjoy this book as well, it's totally fine. Uh, if your kid right now is taking a bath or maybe eating dinner, then what you can do is just make sure that you watch it uh, a little later on. But uh, what we got is we got a book. Don't we, Rhett? Yes. Don't you like books? Yeah. By the way, Rhett's uh, wrapped up in a tortilla blanket. So he kinda, you kinda look like a burrito. Yeah, you like burritos, don't you? So uh, I was thinking earlier today I was going to do one of my favorites, uh, favorite books called uh, Zach the Alligator, but I think I'm going to do this one called Click, Clack, Moo, Cows That Type. So here we go, kids. Story time with Uncle Zach. Am I Uncle Zach? No, I'm not. I'm Daddy. <laughs> yeah, he's out of it. It's about bedtime for him. So here we go, story time. Everybody follow along. And like I said, if your kiddos aren't watching right now, you could show it to them a little bit later on this evening. It's Click, Clack, Moo, Cows That Type. This book is hilarious. It's uh, probably on an elementary school level, which is probably why I relate to it so well. So here we go, Click, Clack, Moo, Cows That Type. Here we go. Farmer Brown has a problem. His cows like to type. All day long he hears click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo, clickety, clack, moo. Yeah. Here you go. There's the farm right there. Where? Right, right there, see? Right there. Yeah, the red barn. Yeah. And then who's that? Kid. That's not a kid, that's yeah. farmer. That's the farmer right there. <laughs> then he couldn't believe his eyes. Dear Farmer Brown, the barn is very cold at night. We'd like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. See, they posted a note on the barn door. By the way, Bodie says hi, Rhett. Hi. You want to say hi to Bodie? Hi. <laughs> it was bad enough the cows had found the old typewriter in the barn. Now they wanted electric blankets. No way, said Farmer Brown. No electric blankets. So the cows went on strike. They left a note on the barn door. Sorry, we're closed. No milk today. See, there you go. They're I left thirsty. that note. Yeah, they're thirsty and the cows won't give them milk because they want electric blankets. Yeah, that's what's happening. That's me. No milk today, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard the cows busy at work. Click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo, clickety, clack, moo. So look, the cows are using the typewriter. How awesome is that? be kind of hard to use a typewriter with a hoof. The next day he got another note. Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are cold too. They like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. Look at that. Another note. There's the cow. The hens, they want electric blankets too. They like blankets. The cows were growing impatient with the farmer. They left a new note on the barn door. Closed. No milk, no eggs. I don't think I could live in the world with no eggs. Seriously, that's me for breakfast every day. No eggs, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard them. Click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo, clickety, clack, moo. Look, the chickens, they don't look too happy. They want their demands met. By the way, Misty says hi, Rod. Hi. <laughs> Cows that type, hens on strike. Who ever heard of such a thing? How can I run a farm with no milk and no eggs? Cried Farmer Brown. He was furious. See, there you go. Look at those cows. They look a little upset. They want electric blankets. You think Farmer Brown's gonna give them electric blankets? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Farmer Brown got out his own typewriter. Dear cows and hens, 
There will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Brown. So there you go, Farmer Brown in his yellow hat and bandana around his neck, typing up a note. He's saying, give me milk and eggs. You will get no electric blankets and a like it. Pretty much what's happening here. Duck was a neutral party, so he brought the ultimatum to the cows. So there's the duck. He takes the note from Farmer Brown all the way down to the barn to give it to you, the duck? cows. Duck's right there. What does the duck say? Quack. Quack. Yeah, you're right. All right, let's see what happens now if I can ever turn the page here. The cows held an emergency meeting. All the animals gathered around the barn to snoop, but none of them could understand moo. All night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer. So there's our emergency meeting. Late at night, everything's locked up. See, there's a pig in there too. Where? Right there. What's the pig say? Oink, oink. Oink, oink. We, uh, we like bacon, don't we, Run. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Duck knocked on the door early the next morning. He handed Farmer Brown a note. Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. Leave them outside the barn door and we will send Duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cows. This is getting really heated now. They're doing a lot of negotiating back and forth here. We're watching American Ninja Warrior as well on TV. Yeah. <laughs> Farmer Brown decided this was a good deal. He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for Duck to come with the typewriter. All the chickens and cows, they're warm now. They got electric blankets. Look at that. You think they're warm now? Yeah, yeah they got themselves a blanket. The next morning, he got a note. Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. We like a diving board. Sincerely, the ducks. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. And I guess if it was a duck, it'd be click, clack, quack, click, clack, quack, clickety, clack, quack. That's a tongue twister right there. Look at all those ducks. They're using that typewriter. Maybe the best book ever. Look. And then look. Look what happened. The duck got their demands met. Diving board in the pond. The end. Guys. All right. That's all the story time, right? You want to tell everybody bye? Bye. See you later. And be sure to share this video with your family and friends so that way they can share it with their kiddos and give them something to do uh, as they are, uh, as they are uh, you know, doing the whole uh, no school thing right now. And uh, make sure that you wash your hands and uh, stay safe and six feet apart away from I me. Clean, I'm clean. You're clean now? Yeah. Yeah, you just got a bath. Yeah, you're not dirty anymore. All right. Bye, everyone.